Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, and salutations to all you Akimach that pushing his word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is going to be a lesson I'm going to entitle um, Wait for the Women or the Kingdom, or better yet, Proverbs, the 31st chapter. And um, I'll say starting at verse number 10. Okay. And I'm going to read, I'm, I'm verse, starting at verse 10 to um, 31, but I'm just going to read the 10th chapter. And it says, who can find a virtuous woman? That's the question. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Okay. And right now in today's society, you cannot find a virtuous woman. It's, it's not happening, man. I don't care if you, um, you know, have a little decent relationship with your woman, your wife. She's not going to be virtuous, man. It's, it's impossible for um, a woman to be virtuous, okay? And if you look at what they promote on TV, especially among the black and Latino and Native American women, so-called, they promote them as being promiscuous, as loudmouth, as being whores, as, as, as being like um, men, like violent, strong, you know, um, just out of order, basically, you know what I'm saying? And, and Proverbs, the 31st chapter, man, that's not in this society, man. That's not happening in this society, okay? If you look at the women from back then in the um, ancient times, they were somewhat more obedient than the women of today. You know what I'm saying? Back then, if a, if a, a woman got out of line with a man, he'd tell her to shut up, she would shut up. She wouldn't argue with him. But the women of today, they are try to fight you, throw a skillet at you, stab you, or, or sh even shoot you. A lot of them shooting people nowadays. So, um, these women are not right, man. You know, they're out of, they're out of line. They dress horrishly. They sleep with all type of guys. They suck and screw all type of guys. And, you know, by the time you meet them, you know, you basically, you don't, you dealing with a hoe, man. Some other guy done bust off down her throat and all type of stuff, man. Or popped off. And, you know, you walking down the street or whatever and you call this your woman and other men have had her, man. So there is no, no virtuous woman in this society, man. Okay? I'm going to read this. Um, this is uh, Sirach 9 and verse 2. It says... Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. Okay? And what is thy substance? Today's thy substance could be your financial, your money. Okay? A guy go all out of his way to spend his whole goddamn check on, the, on a woman who's a whore, who can't do nothing for you, but take all your damn money if you let it, if you're stupid, if you're a stool pigeon or a simp. You go? Okay? Verse 3 says, meet not with an harlot, lest thou fall into her snares, okay? And the snares are to these women of today is to, the number one snare is to get her pregnant so she can get you for child support for 18 years and use you up. And some of that child support go to like, I think 20 some years old if the kids want to go to college or whatever, okay? And that's a snare, man. And a lot of guys fall for it because why? Because they look upon a woman and lust after her. And how wish I said, uh, look not upon a woman to lust after her. For whosoever do so have committed adultery in his heart. Okay, you can't think with your private parts. You know what I'm saying? You got to think smartly when dealing with these women of today, man, because they're all whores. They are no good. They run their mouth all damn day long telling everybody business. And that's what they're about nowadays, you know what I'm saying? They trying to be like the housewives of, um, what is it, Atlanta, the NBA wives, all these different various shows that they have on TV um, dealing with the black woman, okay? Verse 4 says, Use not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest thou be taken with her attempts. Gaze not on a maid, that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. 
Give not thy soul unto harlots, that thou lose thy that thou lose not thine inheritance. Okay. So a lot of these cats out there, man, they look on these women. They got big asses, nice titties, flat stomachs, you know, pretty pretty face, pretty eyes, you know, big lips. And that can be a you could that can be a trap, man, if you don't, you know what I'm saying, you want to get this word in you, this truth. So you can know how to deal with these women, man. Because if you're a rookie dealing with these women, you're gonna get played, man. Okay, and one way or another, you're gonna get played, man. Verse 7 says, Look not round about thee in the streets of the city, neither wander thou in the solitary places thereof. Okay? Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, for herewith love is kindled as a fire. Okay? And many have looked upon the beauty of a woman and been taken, man, by her looks. When she talked to you, she come up, she got pretty teeth, she got breath smell like cinnamon, her titties all showing and everything. She got good looks, you looking in her eyes, man, and you want to pop off, man. And you make a bad decision. The, the, the whole probably poke holes in the condoms or it's, try to do something. You know, niggas be running in these broads raw, man. Well, you know, they stupid. And uh, she end up, you end up busting up in there and getting her pregnant, man. Now you got to deal with child support and everything. You know, all this other madness. Or she got some man that she ain't telling you about. And he find out here he want to kill you. Okay? Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms. Okay, another man's wife, that's adultery, man. If that woman tell you that she has a friend on the side, leave her alone, man. It's, it's cats out here so goddamn stupid. They, the, the lady will say, I got a husband, a man, or whatever. And they'll be like, so what they got to do with me? Nigga, are you stupid? Do you want to get killed? What's, what the hell wrong with these, these guys out here, man? But they're the lust demons out there that control people. Okay, it says, And spend not thy money with her at the wine. Least thine heart incline unto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. Okay? You up there hanging with another man's wife, getting drunk, having a drink with her. What you think going to happen, man? If you're attracted to that woman, you're going gonna, gonna to end up being with her, man. But a man of the Lord ain't going to do that, man. Because you're going to follow the instructions of the scripture. This, this, this scripture just says, sit not at all with another man's wife. Period. Don't even look at her. Don't even talk to her. Don't even speak to her. Okay? And that's how people get caught up with these whores, man. They're no good, man. And so I say, um, I come out there, you know, you got your woman. Now, I did another video called Do What You Got to Do and Keep It Moving. That's basically, you know, do that. Into the kingdom, man. Or if you can find you a decent woman and she decent, deal with her. Stay with her. But basically, man, you want your wife, man. Your, the, 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 hey, it's Proverbs, the 31st chapter at 10 going down to 31. That's in the kingdom, man. That's not going to be on this side, man. Because when all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble comes, a lot of these whores are going to turn on you and they're going to turn you in. So with that, I want to give all praise to you. How by Shem Yaw Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS and salutations to all you occupants that pushing this word to sincerity and truth. Shalom.